Now we get on to day two, okay? Obviously, I've just run, okay, 24 mile in the first day, all right? So my legs were getting tired. Energy levels were tired. I was operating off two hours sleep, okay? Because when I got back after that 12 o'clock run, I was that pissed off, freaking out of share and that sort of stuff, and I couldn't unwind. So, operating off two hours sleep, we then start day two. Day two starts off well because the sun comes up, it gives you that little bit of a little bit of a right. New day, sun's up, let's get going. Alright. So day two, the goal was to stay between 45 and 50 minutes for the four milers, okay? Some nice peaceful canal vibes. So uh just got past the halfway point for the second leg of the second day. Feeling a little bit better mentally than I did at 4am this morning. But those two nighttime runs absolutely destroyed me. Like, I don't know. I need to mentally try and get myself back into this challenge because yeah it's uh yeah I'm just gonna get this this run done and I might see you when I'm having some food man having me some pancakes and Nutella I think something nice just to cheer myself up a little bit because I am in hurt like a, right now right now It's official. I hate Sunday morning runners because they all look fresh faced man and all happy and like don't get wrong. Some of them could do a mad load of running this morning. But they all look too fresh for that. And then you got me absolutely freaking dying. Freaking I feel like I need to take to them. I've ran 32 miles with four hours sleep that's why I'm dying but yeah they're too fresh face man oh guys these are slow four miles very slow this is just a plod okay nothing crazy nothing quick just a plod all right and the day goes smooth okay it's my mother's, mo mother's birthday we get down to my mother's and that sort of stuff like say along that sort of stuff I have me a nice meal I have me um, a parafino so I had a chicken burger and two chips. Nice meal, middle of the day, okay. Again, still just snacking though, nothing crazy, nothing special. And yeah, it's sound. Up until the very last run. 12 o'clock comes, okay. So I go out at 8 p.m. My right foot feels a bit near, okay. Still running, get done, get dusted. Okay, I come back. Again, I fall asleep, alarm goes off, I wake up, and I can't even put my right foot to the floor. At all. Can't even put it to the floor. So, in my head I'm thinking what the freaking I'm going to do, okay? It's 10 to bloody, 10 to 12, it's my last run, I need to go out and get it done. So, I grab a bag of ice, whack it on the floor, and I just put my foot directly on it, okay, for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I numb the shit out of the bottom of my foot. And then once that's done, once that once that 20 minutes is up, okay, I quickly put my shoe on, quickly put my trainer on, what's I put my shoe on, put trainer, quickly put my sock on, put my trainer on, and close the door and off I go. That run was probably the most hobbly run, okay, anyone's probably ever seen. Alright, if I was doing that at bloody like 8 a.m. in the morning or 12 o'clock or whatever, midday, okay, and people saw me, they're like, what the hell is that dude doing? Okay. I was proper like benching along the way, oh, oh, okay, and it was painful, man, okay, it was very painful, I got that run done in 53 minutes, okay, that's this run here, we'll upload that here, all right, um, but that was it then, that was it done, okay, the main problem that I haven't said, the main problem throughout the whole entire thing, okay, obviously, I train legs, I squat, okay, I haven't got runner's legs, my, run my legs aren't slim, all right when you're squatting like 
160, 170, 180 kilos, okay, your legs ain't gonna be slim. So the chafe, oh my God, okay, the chafe, wow. It doesn't matter if I put Vaseline inside my legs, okay, it didn't matter at all, all right? It was just pain. So I was walking like John Wayne because of my frigging chafe inside my legs. I was hobbling around because of my foot, all right? We are a week post 4x4x48 four by four by and my right foot is still, still in a bad way. Um, I've iced it, I've spiked ball massaged it, okay, and it's still very painful. The only thing I can do is wear, like, without causing me pain, all right, is walk around barefooted. Every time I put my freaking foot inside a trainer, the main metal tarsal of your big Basically, the one that's attached to your big toe, basically, okay, the one that runs along there is freaking extremely painful. Um, so I don't know if I got a bit of a maybe like a stress a stress fracture, um, hairline fracture, whatever you want to call it, okay, in that metatarsal. All right, but it's painful. I haven't done a run since; it's been a week. Okay, I've let my um, let my body recover, let my feet recover, and. Today, not today, sorry, Wednesday, I'm going to do my first 5k. I'm going to see how the foot feels. Um, but yeah, that was just a quick and easy 4x4x48 breakdown. As you can see, I've uploaded some videos that I took as I was going along. I didn't have a cameraman. My cameraman decided to book the wrong weekend off. <laughs> um, but it is what it is, okay? So that was the 4x4x48. What's next? I will tell you in the next video, okay? That was 48 miles in two days. We're gonna go bigger, we're gonna go harder, and it's all gonna be in one day. So, I'm just gonna leave that there, leave that little cliffhanger. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. This one was just breaking down the 4x4x48. Four four 